In the world premiere production of Fire and Air, acclaimed playwright Terence McNally explores the rich history of the Ballet Russe, Sergei Diaghilev's groundbreaking dance company. We headed downtown to Classic Stage Company to check in with star Douglas Hodge, who plays the tempestuous impresario at the heart of the drama. Fire and Air is really the story of Diaghilev and Le Ballet Russe. Uh, Diaghilev was an um, incredible producer, really. He, he said he didn't have any talent of his own, but he clearly did. He was a brilliant pianist and uh, he loved ballet and he formed a synthesis of music, art and decor design. He uh, employed people like Picasso, Stravinsky, Debussy. You could almost say that Diaghilev, that ballet wouldn't exist anymore probably would have died if it hadn't been for him. Working with John Doyle, uh, he's Scottish, which means he's mean and uh, tough and uh, economical. Uh, but his whole artistic impulse is to take away, constantly to strip away and to constantly, you know, I mean, he'd, he'd love it if the audience came in and used their own imaginations. He feels that on the bare floorboards with a few chairs and a few lights and the audience in full sight, they can just get very close up to the acting and intimate. And Terence, uh, yes, um, latterly in his life has written this extraordinary love letter really to Diaghilev and to that period and he seems to know everything about it. But it is essentially, it's extremely poetic and it's a pean to all the the things that we're sort of missing at the moment, you know, the, the grace and harmony and beauty and elegance and manners and uh, that whole world that is so important, that redresses the levels of barbarism in the world, I believe, you know, um, he, he has written this love letter to. Hodge reveals what it's like for him to be at the centre of a cast filled with acclaimed talents. Well, they're fabulous. And also it's, um, well, Mar yeah, Maren Maisie is a miracle. Uh, yeah, Marsha, four Oscar nominations, I think. John Glover, um, a legend in his own right. Those three are just extraordinary stanchions to base a play on. And then there's these two young guys um, who can incredibly both ballet dance and act, um, which is uh, something I have never managed in my life. So yeah, we do have the young and the and then the more experienced actors in the cast. It's a play about art and a play about poetry and a play about beauty, and it's written as a poem. And I think these are tough, brutal, unpoetic times. There's lots to discuss that's current and relevant, I think. But essentially, it's um, a gentle, beautiful piece about beautiful things.